The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. We learned to say thank you as children, as part of a set, please and thank you. If you're like me, that lesson was learned through some gentle prompting, sometimes not so gentle prompting from my parents. And that prompting usually came in the form of the question, what do you say? You know, I want a cookie, what do you say? And so I get a, a, revise my statement. May I please have a cookie? And I'm giving the cookie, and then you say, what do you say? I was slow, but eventually it sunk in. No. There was, that's a, there was a life lesson in there, because that's much more than simply being polite. The first thing we learned in that exchange is that there's something outside of us. Children can easily think that you know, they're all that, that everything revolves around them. They are all that matters. Not only children get to, get to feel that way sometimes. <laughs> Don't look at anybody, no. The second lesson we learn is to acknowledge the gift and the giver. I'm not entitled to everything I want. I haven't earned anything. This is being given to me. There is someone outside of me that I depend on. And the third thing we learn in that is that our response is gratitude. We need to acknowledge these people outside of us that we depend on. And that makes our world bigger. <clears throat> When we, in our faith, add God into this mix, it only takes everything deeper. <clears throat> our faith tells us that God is the giver of all gifts. That we haven't earned anything. We've been gifted before we even come close to earning anything. We're given life. We're given abilities. We're placed in our families. We're, this is, makes everything we do possible. And realizing that only leads to a deeper sense of gratitude and, and a generosity. We have been blessed. And we are called to, be a ble to become a blessing to others. We depend on God and others. We are to be a blessing. A simple lesson. Learn to be polite becomes a day for being grateful, becomes our very way of life. <clears throat>